Welcome to our lecture online, and here's our first example of how to calculate a problem in one dimension dealing with free fall. So what we're doing here is we're dropping an object from a height of 20 meters, and we're trying to figure out what the final velocity is when it hits the ground. Again, the three equation kinematics do apply. Now, which of those three do you think we should use? Well, since time is not known how long it takes for the object to hit the ground, the second one, which doesn't require time, is probably the right one to use. So let's go ahead and check that one out. We're trying to find V final. We're given V initial, which happens to be zero. We know the acceleration due to gravity, and we know the height difference. So I think that equation will work for us. So let's take that. We have V final in the y direction squared equals V initial in the y direction squared plus 2 times G times the change in the height, delta Y. Right away. We can say that there's no initial velocity in the y direction, and so all we have to do is take the square root of both sides, so v final in the y direction is equal to the square root of 2g times y final minus y initial. That's the difference in the height. All right, uh, so this would be equal to the square root of 2 times 9.8. Now, that's going to be a minus 9.8, so minus 9.8 meters per second squared times y final, which is 0, minus y initial, which is 20 meters. And here you can see that this minus will cancel out that minus, because obviously we can't take the square root of a negative number, so we're good there. Now, let's grab a calculator and see what the answer for that is. So we have 20 times 2 times 9.8, take the square root, and it turns out v final in the y direction will be equal to 19.8 meters per second. Now, since we're taking the square root of a number that can act actually be plus or minus, and of course, what will be the, the, the logical answer would be the minus because we're looking at the velocity on its way down, so just before it hits the ground, the answer then, the final answer would be v sub y is equal to a minus 19.8 meters per second. So we really have to think about the logical answer here. In this case, it's the negative answer that will make sense. All right, and that's how you do a problem like that.